Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the MSI Vector 17 HX A13 VHG. To gain access to the internals of this gaming laptop, you need to undo 13 Phillips head screws. Then, turn over the device and pry all the sides of the hinge cover with a thin plastic tool. Open the lid to pop the front side of the cap. Lift away the shield from the base. Now we can pop the rear. Pry it step by step by inserting the tool in between the plate and the chassis. Again, open the lid and pry the right and the front sides through the base. Flip the notebook upside down. You can't lift the whole bottom plate straight upwards since the audio jack sticks out of the motherboard. Raise the panel on the left and carefully slide it to the right side. The battery is a 90 watt hour model. To remove it, Pull out the connector from the motherboard and undo the six Phillips head screws that secure the unit in place. The capacity is enough for around four hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the super battery preset and the display power saver function in the MSI Center. Also, the MSI Hybrid Graphics mode has to be turned on, and the Balance mode should be selected in the BIOS in the User Scenario section. The best power efficiency preset is also activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu. For storage upgrades, there are two M.2 slots, one for Gen 4 and one for Gen 5 NVMe drives. The pre-installed SSD is additionally cooled by two thick thermal pads. The memory area is covered by a metal cap. You can pop it with a lever tool, but keep in mind that the cap is glued to the plastic housings of the memory slots, so don't push too hard. According to MSI, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. 
However, since the CPU can support up to 192 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The Wi-Fi card is on the left. As always, the Cooler Boost 5 thermal system looks massive. It boasts two fans and three thick heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU. There is also one extra heat pipe for the processor, as well as two more for the graphics cards, VRMs, and memory modules. We can also spot four sizable heat sinks, a heat spreader for the CPU, and a huge metal plate for the video card. The lower heat pipe and the chipset are connected via foil. 